starting with uh, what happened yesterday at uh, in Congress. Well, essentially, the House uh, voted to 223 against 204 to pass the Protecting Our Kids Act, and this comes under all the mass shootings that have happened. And uh, Protecting Our Kids Act is a gun control package assembled after the mass shooting that uh, the world saw. Uh, in Texas that occurred um, just just a few weeks ago and uh, what happened in Buffalo uh, if you recall uh, 10 people were shot dead just because of their skin color so five Republicans uh, are not returning Congress voted yes and two Democrats voted no uh, to this uh, to this new uh, legislation that was protecting our kids act and uh, when it comes to what happened in Texas if you recall it was 19 young children and two teachers that were killed by a gunman who was only 18 years old uh, with an AR-15 style weapon, assault weapon, at the elementary school on May 24th. And uh, the funerals of the victims uh, will also continue until June 25th. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take you to the testimony, but also there is a investigation with the police response where it took 77 minutes for them to uh, respond to what happened in that school. There's a lot of stories that. Uh, changed from uh, that day until days after and therefore there's an FBI investigation. Parents say that uh, police stopped them from going inside the school and at times arrested some of them uh, and were too delayed in terms of responding and going in uh, while the, the parents were outside the school hearing the gunshots. Uh, very devastating but we're gonna go uh, to the testimony right now for you to hear uh, what happened yesterday in Congress. We were just watching movies, and then she got an email, and then she went to go lock the door, and he was in the hallway, and they made eye contact, and then she went to back in the room and she told us go hide, and then we went to go hide behind my teacher's desk and behind the backpacks and. Then he shot the little window, and then he went to the other classroom, and then he went. There's a door between our classrooms, and he went to there and shot my teacher and told my teacher goodnight and shot her in the head. And then he shot some of my classmates and the whiteboard. When I went to the backpacks, uh, he shot my friend that was next to me, and I thought he was going to come back to the room, so I grabbed the blood and I put it all over me. And what did you do then when you put the blood on yourself? Just stay quiet, and then I got my teacher's phone and called him and went. What did you tell 911? I told her that we need help and she sent the police in, the, in our classroom. If there was something that you want people to know about that day and about you, right? Or things that you want different, what would it be? To have security. And do you feel safe at school? Why not? That's the uh, heart-wrenching testimony of the child that was there in the classroom, essentially, uh, when, when the shooting took place of 19 students and two teachers. And there's other testimony of other children saying that they played dead by putting their friend's blood over them. It's just absolutely devastating uh, to, to hear um, uh, their testimony of what happened uh, in that classroom on May 24th. And uh, we'll definitely follow up with uh, what Congress uh, decides to do on uh, this act and what it means for uh, gun control and gun reform law in, uh, in the United States.